this time I'm going to record it and, and let you guys into the, the secret of getting a cheap 4G camera. Oh, not a secret, Mommy. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Hi everybody, Hi. Eve and Tilly here. Um, we wanted to bring you a video today because we've got some exciting uh, things happening here. Our oh, Bessie's the mother of baby. Yeah, our cow, our Guernsey cow, Bessie, is having a calf. And we need to keep an eye on her um, every day because she, cause she's going to have a calf. Yeah, so what we would like to do is set up a camera. Um, but we don't know where to set it. Well, it'll be down the barn, so we want to set up a camera down the barn. The barn isn't too far away from the house, no, but it's far enough away that uh, our Wi-Fi at home doesn't reach to the barn. Um, so we need to try and figure out a way how to do it. You can have these expensive 4G cameras, which the reviews seem fantastic on them, but they're a little bit out of our price range. Um, we have various cameras around the house uh, grounds, which I've been using from either buying them either from Amazon or, or eBay. They're called a, a V380. Um, and I've actually been really pleased with them. We've had them for oh, a number of years now, two or three years. We've got three around the house. Um, and I just wondered if there was a way that we could get a similar camera down at Bessie and view it from the house without the Wi-Fi. I, I named Bessie. You did, you named that, Bessie. That was my name, that was my favourite name. Three G cameras that I've been looking at are around about um, uh, £250, which I think you could probably, is a fantastic investment. It's just for us, we only really want to keep an eye on Bessie for about a month. So £250 for just a month's worth of viewing seems a lot of money. So, these cameras here that I've bought previously off of eBay, this one, I think it was 20, 26 99 something like that. So, that's 26 99 Then what else you will need is a router, a 3G um, MiFi, sometimes they're called router, um, 3G or 4G. We have not got 5G. <laughs> We're in the depths of West Wales. Yeah, this is a Wi-Fi or MiFi. I bought um this was a Huawei one that I actually <laughs> It's a funny Huawei. A Huawei one that we found on eBay second hand, works perfectly fine. Yeah. And it works off of a SIM card that you pop in the back. I'll show you all that in a minute. Um and the the SIM card then you can buy various data plans. I've bought one which is ten pound I think. And then you can just top it up when you need it. So, and then also I've got an SD card. This is optional, you don't have to have an SD card, but if you pop the SD card in the camera, it means it will record the footage and you will be able to play it back um, then on the on your phone. Yeah. So that's optional, but that'll cost you about, I don't know, between, it depends how big you want, one of five, five to 10 pounds. So all in all, um, this setup is gonna be costing me um, about 40 pounds. So that's not too bad, I don't think. So I'll see if I can get it all set up now. <laughs> I did do a similar thing previously for our goats when they were kidding, um, but I I set it up, I didn't record it, and I've since used that camera elsewhere around the house. So um, at this time I'm gonna record it and, and let you guys into the, the secret of getting a cheap 4G camera. Oh, it's not a secret, Mommy. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> mommy, it's not. Okay, so this is the app that I use to keep monitor the usage of the data on my SIM. I've used three, and it's pretty easy to use, and quite good value, I think. Okay, so this is the Huawei MiFi router. Um, so you... So you just turn it over and the back comes off and you've got your battery there that just comes out and then here then you've got all your information you need to keep uh you need to record the wi-fi key here and also um if 
you want to change those passwords, which we usually do, those are the that's the IP address to log IP address to log in, and then the username and password in order to change that, and that's where you pop your SIM card in. Okay. So that's all back together and ready for the next step. And now we need to open the. Hmm. Box. Oh, look at it. The camera. Ooh, that's good. I've never seen the camera this close. Okay, so this now is the camera. It's out of the box. We've got the camera. We've got a power plug. We've got some screws. We've got a screwdriver. And we've got um, some of the bits and bobs and an instruction manual in there. Firstly, we will um, try to stand this up. Pop the SD card in. So the micro SD slot is here at the bottom of the camera. So we just flick that past and pop it in there. Okay, so from my workings out, if you have the camera upside down and you're popping the SD card in, hold it with the um, the funny tabs on that side. Careful when you pop it in. Make sure you're going in the right slot. And then you can just press it in until it clicks down. And then cover that back up again so that no water gets in it if it's outside because these can be outside. Okay, next thing to do is power on the camera. Yeah, so you've got on. three ports here. That's the reset button. This one's the re first one's the reset. That's the power, and then that one's a network lead. Now, I don't think the cameras are actually set up for network. That's not the type of camera this is. But we can cover up the reset button. And then plug in. Okay, so she'll talk to you a little bit. She'll have lots of things to say. Mm, not that Is she the instruction Yeah. Yep. It's just going to go through this, so it'll be hanging up like this. On the. Um, Preparing. It'll be sort of hang up like that. And access then point ready. Let wait until she says access point ready. Then what you need to do is download the V380 app. There's the symbol for it. You can get V380 Pro. Um, so I'll just show you how to go through now and connect to the how to go through now and connect to the MiFi router which we will turn on so once it's powered up it should um, light up with all of these so it's telling you it's got moderate signal battery is high oh it's got good signal Wi-Fi is on battery is high excellent so oh it's flicking in between moderate and good signal yellow and green so we'll get on now and connect everything up. I'll go, go to a screen record. First step is to download the V380 app. Um, I've got an iPhone, so obviously I use the App Store. Uh, just type in V380. I use the Pro version. I don't think there's much difference, to be honest, between the two. Open it up. You can see any current devices that you have. Click on the top right hand corner plus and then add camera and the AP hotspot connection option. Select your Wi Fi, which is the Huawei Mi Fi. Enter the password. Then it'll tell you to go back to settings and connect your phone to the MV Wi Fi network, and that's the camera. And then it should automatically connect. Then what you'll need to do is take your camera and the router down to the barn area, if that's what you're using it for. Set it up where you can see things nicely. Um, and then uh, I leave the router plugged into a power source because the battery doesn't last that long on it. Then you can keep an eye on anybody and use the pan and zoom functions um, to zoom in. 
Well, I hope that was of some interest to you. One thing I would say is if you're having problems with it connecting to the camera or to your network, make sure you go into settings. Um, if you're on an iPhone, I'm not sure, sure how it would work on an Android. But if you go into settings on your iPhone, um, scroll down to the V3. Just make sure that you're sharing your local network. Um, that little switch is clicked on green because I have had a problem previously where things haven't connected because that wasn't um, allowed in the settings. But hopefully that's a little bit of um, a cheat way of getting a camera at a, a location where perhaps Wi-Fi isn't freely available. Please let me know how it goes. Any questions, pop them in the comments and I will try and troubleshoot um, what, you know, where I can. I'm not an IT expert, but I have dabbled. Thanks guys, see you again.